God's very clear about the boundaries of relationships. Let's look at some examples of this in Scripture. In Galatians chapter 5, beginning in verse 22, we're finding some fence posts or some boundaries that should guard the relationships of our life. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance or patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There are nine descriptions here. And each of these words, we might think of them as a fence that need to be around the relationships of your life. Guard your life with love. Guard your relationships with love. Guard your relationships with joy and peace and patience and kindness. That's established. These are to be the, the perimeters of every relationship in your life. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, God gives us boundaries about the way that we are to think. Notice he says here, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, notice what he says here, think about such things. So again, he gives us some fence posts, some boundaries for what we should allow in our minds. We should only think things that are true and noble and right and pure and lovely and admirable and excellent and praiseworthy. Let us filter out everything that runs contrary to those, those parameters, those borders, those boundaries of your own mind. And then he talks to us about the people in our life. He says there's some boundaries that you need to adhere to when it comes to your, your, the people that you invite into your world that you relate most closely to. He says do not be yoked together with unbelievers. He's setting a boundary. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What harmony is there between Christ and Belial? Or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? What agreement is there between the temple of God and idols? For we are the temple of the, of the living God. As God has said, I will live with them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from them and be separate. He's establishing boundaries, says the Lord. Touch no unclean thing, and I will receive you. So we see that very clearly there are boundaries in our relationships. Proverbs talks about this. In Proverbs 22, do not make friends. He's setting a boundary. Do not, not make friends with a hot-tempered person. Do not associate with one easily angered, or you may learn their ways and get yourself ensnared. So over and over again, we see very clearly in the Bible that God points out to us the boundaries that we're to live within in our life and the boundaries that we're not to step across. Boundaries are very important in life.